Kia Perrin. Today I'm going to be giving a guitar lesson on the song Trans by Gorillaz. Trans is a really synth heavy song, but I'm going to be playing the synth and bass parts on the guitar. So if you also want to learn the bass parts, you can just follow the root notes of what I'm doing on the guitar. I'm going to be using a Fender Mexican Stratocaster uh, with Bill Lawrence L250 pickups in them. And uh, I'll also be using an Eggnator Rebel 30 with the overdrive channel and the gain at about 2, two o'clock or 3 o'clock. I'm going to put some timestamps in the description below for those of you that want to skip around to certain sections of the song. This lesson will start with the rhythm guitar section, which will use power chords throughout the whole thing. So for those of you that aren't familiar with power chords, uh, what, what that is is you're going to place your pointer on a certain note, the note of the chord, and then on top of that, you're going to put your ring finger two frets above and one string down. And you're just going to hit those two strings. So this shape can move around depending on where your root is, which I'll, I'll let you know where the roots are. And then additionally, on top of that, if you want a brighter sound, you can also put your pinky on the string right below your ring on the same fret. So that's going to be using our root notes on either the 5th string or the 6th string. And that shape can move around depending on where your root is. So the first chord is going to be D chord with our pointer finger on the 5th fret of the 5th string, and that's our root. Then you place your power chord on top of that. Next chord is going to be a G chord with our root on the 6th string. So that's going to be pointer finger on G, then move your ring finger two frets above, one string down, and then additionally if you want to put your pinky below that, that's fine too. Then B flat with our root on the 6th string, which is going to start on the 6th fret of the 6th string, and then power chord on top of that. Then we're going to have A, which is going to have a root on the 6th string again, and that's going to be pointer on the 5th fret of the 6th string. And then the last chord is a C power chord, which is going to be root on the 8th fret of the 6th string. So for the strumming of this rhythm section, we're going to do a consistent 8th note downstroke pattern. That's going to be uh, just demonstrating on a D power chord. That's going to be 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and So all down and with an eighth note pattern. So getting into a D to G chord, you're going to play D for almost a full measure, and you're going to switch to G on the and of 4. So what that's going to sound like is this. 1, 2, ready, and... And then your next chord is going to be B flat, and that's going to happen on beat one of the next measure. So together, those three chords are one, two, ready, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and. And then the A will come in again on the and of four of that measure. So from B flat which comes in on one. It's gonna be one, two, ready, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. And then your C is gonna come in on the and of two of the next measure. So from B flat again, one, two, ready, and B flat, one, and two, and three, and four, A, and two, C. And that's going to play for the rest of the measure. So now I'll demonstrate this whole part slowly. So one, two, ready, and one, and two, and three, and four, 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 and. And then this will be a fast version of it. 
One, two, ready, and... And that can be repeated throughout the whole song. So the next part is going to be the lead arpeggiating synth part that happens throughout the pre-chorus and chorus sections. And that's going to use the uh, third position of the F scale, which will be these set of notes. So that's within the uh, 17th fret and the 20th fret. So these patterns are going to stick within groups of two, and you can put two notes down at the same time, and you're just going to be doing a uh, down-up pattern on the E string, which is going to be down, and the B string, which is going to be up. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. On top of that pattern, your first group of two notes is going to start with A, with your pointer on the 17th fret of the first string, and F with your middle finger on the 18th fret of the second string. So you're going to play each of those two times, alternating between them. So A, F, A, F. The second group, you're going to move your previous shape up two frets, and you're going to end up with B with your pointer on the 19th fret of the first string, and G with your middle on the 20th fret of the second string and alternate between those two the same way that you did the first two. So, B, G, B, G. Together, those two sections are one, two, ready, and A, F, A, F, B, G, B, G. Third group is gonna change your shape. You're gonna use your ring finger on the uh, 18th fret of the first string, which is going to be a B flat, and then you're going to use your middle finger on the 18th fret of the second string, which is an F note. And then go between those two the same way, so B flat, F, B flat, F. Fourth group is going to move that shape up two frets, and you're going to end up with C with your ring finger on the 20th fret, and G with your middle finger on the 20th fret of the second string. So C first string, G second string. And you're going to alternate between those as well. So C, G, C, G. So then you put all that together and you have one, two, ready, and. And the faster version of that is going to sound like this. One, two, ready, and... And you're going to repeat that throughout the pre-chorus and the chorus sections. The final part of this lesson is going to be mimicking the synth part in the post-chorus of this song. So that's this part. That's going to be using the notes in the fifth position of the F scale, which is these notes. So I'll be splitting this into smaller phrases uh, so that you can follow along a little bit easier. So the first phrase is going to start with your pointer on the 10th fret of the second string, which is an A note. You're going to play that three times on beats one, two, and three. So that's going to be one, Two, ready, and one, two, three. Then on beat four, you're going to place your ring on the 12th fret of the third string. Play once with the down pick on beat four. So together, that's one, two, ready, and one, two, three, four. Then on the end of four, you're going to up pick back on A with your pointer on the 10th fret of the 2nd string. So with that and of 4 on A, it's going to sound like this. 1, 2, ready, and 1, 2, 3, 4, and. The second smaller phrase is going to be 8th note run, 
with alternate picking. It's going to be down, up, down, up on the second string. So it's going to be down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And it's just going to be four notes. Um, the first note is going to be a B flat with your middle finger on the 11th fret of the second string. That's going to be your down. Then you're going to go to C with your pinky on the 13th fret of the second string, and that's going to be up pick. Back to B flat with your middle on the 11th fret of the second string, down pick. And then finally A with your points here on the 10th fret, up pick. So that whole section is down, up, down, up. Now if you put that together with the first phrase, it's going to sound like this. One, two, ready, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and four, and. So that eighth note run will come in on the beat three. Three, and four, and. The next phrase starts on the third string, and it's going to have your ring on the twelfth fret which is going to be a G note. Down pick that G note on beat one. Then on beat two, you're going to go to F with your pointer on the 10th fret of the third string, and that's going to be a down pick. So it's G on one, one, F on two, two. Then the next two notes are going to be G with your ring on the 12th fret, with a down pick, and then E with your pointer on the ninth fret of the third string with an up pick. And that's going to be on beat four and the end of four. So down, up. And together that whole section is one, two, ready, and one, two, three, four, and. And you put that together with the other sections, and it sounds like this. One, two, ready, and two, three, four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, and. The last note of that section will change between the first post chorus and the second post chorus. So the first post chorus, it will end on a C note which is going to be on the 10th uh, fret of the 4th string with your middle finger. And that's going to end up on the beat 3 of the next measure. So that note with the rest of the um, sections is going to be 1, 2, ready, and 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, Three and four and one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four. But the second post chorus, which is actually repeated, will end on the twelfth fret of the fifth string, which is an A note, on the same beat, beat three. And then you can use your ring or your pinky finger for that. So that second post chorus with the A note instead will sound like this. One, two, ready, and. One, two, three, four, and. One, two, three, and four, and. One, two, three, four, and. One, two, three, four. And then if you're gonna repeat that lead synth part, you're gonna do the same thing on the next repeat, but you're gonna take out the first note. So that's going to sound like this with the repeating part. One, two, ready, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, and one. Now I'll show you a sped up version of that. One, two, ready, and...
that's my lesson on trans by gorillas. Uh, if you found it helpful, if you enjoyed it, please uh, leave a like or subscribe. And if you have any questions, please comment below. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.